Hello, hello. How are y'all? It's Stacy. Um, I'm finally getting ready to make a video today. So happy. I had to go to center today and run some errands and stuff, and I'm just now getting around to this. Um, I have mixed these colors, and I want to use them for two pours if I can. This is quinacridone magenta, and I'm going to add, these other ones have pigments in them. And I'm going to do a Dutch pour, and then I'm going to do an open cup, hopefully with the same colors. I think I'll have enough paint. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I may have to add a little to my paint, but I hope not. Um, let's see. Okay, first we're going to go with this Boysenberry. No, this is Snapdragon. Snapdragon. And, um, let's see, do I want to blow this out that way, or, um, might be better to do this as an open cup, and do the other one as, uh, because I have a square canvas, I could do as the, yeah, I'm going to do that, okay, never mind, change the plans, plans are still the same, but plans have changed. And change a little bit. Um, let me find my little open cups. Um, my little open cups. There they are. There's my little open cups. Um, okay, we're just going to do one open cup. Yeah, that's probably not going to be enough paint. But anyway, whatever. We'll just do it. This is Snapdragon. And it's got some... Um... um I'm going to pour just a little bit more of this around the edge. Because it's not real thick right in there. It's not real thick anywhere. I mean, I did that on purpose. Because um, I thought I was doing a Dutch pour and I was going to add some more. But anyway, Snapdragon. Um, and it's got some blue and purple mixed to it. And with it. And then this is um, Deco Art Coral Paint mixed with um, Arteza pigments. Then this is one of the Amsterdam paints. It's a, it looks like a, they don't have names on them, I don't think, at least not where I can read. Um, it looks like an ultramarine blue, um, but it's got a hint of purple in it. And so I used it to go in with the boysenberry because that's a blue and purple mix. And um, then I'm going to go with the gold. And this is Eye Candy's Gold Pigment with 24 karat gold mixed in. And then we're going to add some quinacridone to it. And I have some, um, this is a lavender, and it's an Arteza pigment mixed with Deco Art. Um, I don't know what the name of it is. I think it's grape, or it's a lavender. See, it's a very pale. Uh, this was supposed to be about purple. Purple was the signature color in this one. And um, so let's go one more round. I don't want it all flowing off the side like it's trying to do. That's really pretty though. Uh, there's some more Snapdragon. Get on over there. I'm gonna have to deal with my kid in a minute. He's in there freaking out playing his game. And here's the coral. I'm trying not to use all of these colors because um, use them all up because I want to do that other pour and I don't want to have to make more colors. I'm being lazy. And this is the um, boysenberry. I mean, I may have enough in here after this round to um, in the gold. Uh, 
lavender. Colton! Excuse me. I'll have to go in there and handle that in a minute, but it's like Jen posted on Facebook. Sometimes I need to be alone with my art supplies. <laughs> I love that post. It's so true. I mean, sometimes I just want to shut that door and whatever goes on out there is going on out there. It has nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. All right, I think that's enough. Um, I wanted to let a little bit of that pink ooze out. It's oozing, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Yeah, that's gonna be enough paint to Don't want you spilling over the side. Crap, where's the torch when you need it? I'm gonna turn it this way because I I don't think it'll have time to run all the way down there by the time I get my torch. Okay, that's plenty of paint. Where is my torch? Hold on, I gotta grab my torch. Ugh. Video while I hear she screaming. Sorry. My torch was in the other room from resin and last night. Oh, Alright, cool. I did get out there today and start working on the backs of some of these because they say businesses are going to be able to open tomorrow around here. Um, that's what they've been telling people anyway. And there's going to be some people, i.e. me, they are going to be very upset if that doesn't happen. But they've been saying like Hobby Lobby and places like that will be open tomorrow. I didn't want to lose all that gold and I did. Almost all. Anyway, um, because they're saying that, I started thinking that my farmer's market um, would be able to open up again soon. And um, so I thought I need to start getting my pieces ready. So I need to work on the backs, you know. Um, I don't want that big old blob of magenta coming out right there. I don't want a big blob of anything. That's where I'll pour off from. And then I'll cut it with that blue. It's still a big blob. I'm gonna have to do something about that. this blue part over here and push some of that magenta off the side because I don't want that big blob of magenta in there. I know y'all can't see right now, but there's nothing to see except magenta, magenta running off the page. And see there, I've saved my blue. I'm pouring it back on by easing my fingers down. And we'll see if we can't save this after all. I'm not really crazy about it now. I thought it'd be a little bit better if I could mix it some. All my gold is right there in that one spot. All my magenta, well, it's not all in one spot, but it's in that spot. And um, I 
I'm gonna torch it and see where it goes. I'm so not happy. I'm so not happy. I don't know. It's okay. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. The gold is pretty. I just wanted a little more mixing than that. And frankly, I'm used to a little bit better design with the open cut more cells. I guess that's because I use so much pigment in this one. I find that if you cut on the paint and you don't use as much paint, I'm gonna put some more juice in this. If you cut down on how much paint, see this one doesn't have as much paint as I usually use. And I think if you cut the paint quality, the paint amount, you're gonna cut down on the cells. If you've got a bunch of pigment and you don't have a bunch of paint in there to balance the pigment, you're gonna cut cells. Look at that, I'm torching it and I got like, you know, next to nothing talking about. And these are mixed with Floetrol and silicone. Where's the damn cells at? I mean, I see these over here, those are pretty, but you know, it's just not doing much. It's pretty, but it's, they tend to be boring if you don't have enough paint in there. Um, I don't know, it's just my opinion. Those little pink ones that are darting up on the sides are cute. I like those. I just wish those more. Okay. I think that's what it's gonna do. And and that's okay, it's pretty. The colors are pretty. I'm you know not real happy. Not real happy, but that's okay. I can be not real happy. You know, you're not going to be perfectly happy with everything you make. And, um, I get some that I'm real happy with. So, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. I just, um, sort of wanted a little more out of it than that. Oh, well. Look at what I did yesterday. That one. And I did that one a couple of days ago. And this one. And that one yeah so I'm not unhappy I, I just um and you know what they say expectations lead to frustrations <laughs> anyway it's pretty let's, ha let's have a look that's kind of blurry let me get the camera to cooperate there we go I don't know what those little buttons are on my camera I just know that if it's blurry I punch them and it changes and then it's not blurry anymore so, I don't know what they mean. I think that they're blur buttons. One of them is blurry, and the other ones are clear. So, if you want it blurry, punch one of them. If it's clear, punch one, and it'll turn blurry. If it's blurry, punch one, and it'll turn clear. That's the way it works. Those are really cool over there. It's got some cool aspects to it. Always look at the bright side. Anyway, um, <clears throat> thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Um... I'm happy for all your support that I've had I'm trying to grow my channel. Y'all are helping me, and I really appreciate it because I'm working really hard at it. And uh, I don't ever like to half-ass do anything, and this is no exception. I'm just trying to be the best I can be, and uh, I need you guys' help for that, so thank you. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your night. If you don't tune in for the next video, because I think I'm going to do a Dutch board with these same colors and see how that turns out. Anyway, y'all join me. I'll be here uh, all the time, pretty much. I'm... I'm so here, you're probably sick of me. Um, because I make lots of videos. Uh, this is my life. Um, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate you being here. And y'all have a good night. If I don't see you again, I'll see you next time. Alrighty, bye-bye.